folks, the Creepy Kentuckian here with you from DadPit.com. This week we're taking a look at a new Blu-ray release from our good friends over at Code Red DVD slash Kino Lorber Studios from 1984 director Fernando De Leo. It is The Violent Breed. This is a film that has not received any treatment on disc of any sort that I could find before. So definitely a first time watch for me. I kind of remember the VHS cover though. And it's very similar to this one here. In Italy, anything that was popular in the United States, they would try to replicate. I'm guessing Rambo was popular in the very early eighties and that allowed the violent breed to be made. And the film is also produced by the Canon Group, which is infamous for kind of the lower budget cheese factor as well, which is definitely present here. Plot wise, I mean, this film is very, very easy. You can describe it in a sentence, really. The Violent Breed starts off with Kirk, Mike, and Polo. They are on a mission in the jungle to rescue a group of kids that's being held hostage by someone, right? And we're assuming this was some sort of covert operation with these three. Opening 15 minutes or so, they do rescue the kids and move on to possibly the next mission. I think Polo stays behind. It's it's in Thailand or Colombia or somewhere like that. They never really explain where it is to work on the next mission, supposedly. From that point, you kind of fast forward. You don't know how long ahead of time this was. Polo, which is played by legendary actor Woody Stroud, who was in Spartacus, you know, and he was in a lot of very low-budget Italian movies. He was in that crappy Scream slasher movie from the early 80s. He's in this, kind of the biggest name involved in this. Uh, but yeah, he is leading a drug trafficking ring over there in Colombia or Venezuela or wherever the hell they're at. And now Kirk works for the CIA and has sent Mike in to infiltrate the big drug trafficking ring. And Mike is this dude right here that looks like a skinny Barry Gibb. He's kind of on the mission there. There's a lot of running around in the jungle with automatic weapons. And he meets up with an underage prostitute. I'm not kidding. Kind of falls in love with the underage prostitute. And then it all goes to hell real quick there. The violent breed is... Just another, honestly, like, I mean, being quite honest with you, and this is not even a knock on the film, it's another one of those, I'm just running around the jungle shooting people movies, and I'm fine with that. I actually kind of enjoyed that. Just a mindless, just kind of stupid uh, movies. You'll remember some of the people from other Italian horror movies. I know the young underage prostitute girl I remember from Cannibal Holocaust, who was a, a young underage cannibalistic uh, hua in that one. This one right here, the dialogue scenes and the scenes where they're kind of, you're trying to figure out what the hell is actually going on here, they're kind of cringy, I want to be honest with you. It's not the most comprehensible film by any means. But if you're a fan of the, hey, let's run around the jungle and shoot people and squibs and blood and all that insanity... The Violent Breed may be for you. And this is a very basic release here. There's not hardly any special features on it. Not really any related to this movie aside from the trailer. One disc treatment transfers 185 to 1. It's a brand new 2K transfer. Uh, more than likely, it looked like it was from the actual 35 millimeter print. I don't know if film sources would even, you know, the original sources would even exist for this anymore. Possibly, but it didn't look like it. Kino and Code Red, I think they did a good enough job with this transfer. This is easily the best the violent breed will ever look. Right? So, um, this one just came out this past week from Kino Lorber Studios and Code Red. I mentioned the features before. It just says on the back, and let's show you guys, the... Um, transfer and the trailer. So I kept watching and there were more trailers thrown in here. Now the trailers did not look very good. It looks like they were, I don't know if Bill Olsen took them from YouTube, which it, it kind of looked like it, 
But there is a, a series of trailers on here. The Last Hunter, Violent Professionals, Street Law, Seven Bloodstained Orchids, and Blast Fighter. Which, like I said, those look like they were moved over from YouTube directly. Which is fine. You know, it's fine to check out some of these some of these movies. I think Last Hunter was a David Warbeck joint from back in the day. So that looks really cool. Again, though, Violent Breeds, I mean, not the deepest storyline for a movie ever. You know, guy basically goes in the jungle and tries to infiltrate some sort of, you know, KGB drug trafficking operation, which was led by one of his former cohorts, Paula. The Violent Breed is out now. Check it out. Check us out over at deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Up you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f if you do. Or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't care. Let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Before this video officially ends, old Curly Jaws has a message for you. Go on over to shop.deadpit.com and go look at their team public store right now. We've got some new shirts like the old Curly Jaws official t-shirt which is brutal and badass you got the gummy gummy shirt with the captain himself on the shirt the people you got uncle bill's face on a fucking shirt you got the final girl shirt you got all these shirts over at chop.deadpit.com get them before they're all out especially the new one bedtime 1039 it doesn't get better than that so go on out check out these shirts at chop.deadpit.com Go look at their team public store. You're going to have a good old time. Get them all. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on. In addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only one dollar. 